Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Vis and welcome to Quantum Conundrum. Uh, this is a first person puzzler in the same kind of vein as Portal 2 and Portal and all that sort of jazz. But um, it's not quite as well known, I don't think. Uh, and so I thought it might be fun to play around with this and I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, let's get just get started. That's how these things usually start, yes? And it's a got John Delancey, who I love, really as a voice actor. Prolific, an incredible brother. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. Now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrangle Manor the boy. on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was in fact a professor and inventor with a profound and soaring intellect. With each visit, <laughs> the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Confused? Listen to your uncle. He might just have a hint. Here, if I can figure the transdimensional. Okay, and we're in. Oh, oh, oh! And the controls are reversed. Hang on, just a second. You're here. I have the most incredible invention to oh show God. you on this visit. What's, what's going on? Unfortunately, I'm a bit <laughs> indisposed at the moment. Oh God! So something's wrong. Something's wrong. No, no, something's wrong. No. Maybe I need a controller. I have a controller. We have the means and method. Please work. Oh! Oh, good lord, that's plugged. Oh, God. No wonder. God. Excuse me. Oh, oh, thank God, it works properly now. Okay. Okay, uh, fix that little problem. Anyway, so. Uh, we are in the uncle's house, or, yeah, uncle's house, and are looking for something to do. Take your luggage into the foyer. I will join you as soon as I can. Right. Uh, pressing left mouse click. Got it. Okay. Nice. Into the foyer. Uh, press the button. Nice. And go into foyer. Oh, you confounded machine. Sounds like you're having problems, bro. Uh, a lot of problems. Uh, don't bring the house down on my head. I would appreciate that, thanks. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, that should be a safety release for the door up there somewhere. Uh, over there. Did I put that? Why is it up the? I mean, I know I'm little. I mean, look at these couches. I'm I'm pretty tiny, but but seriously, dude, all the way up there. Oh yes. I you're not particularly tall, are you? Thank you, you for that. You should be able to use your luggage to give you an extra boost. Oh, really? Physics-based problems, okay. Okay, up. You got it. Wait a minute. Something isn't quite okay. right here. Oh, your head. No, 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 no. No, don't, don't, don't bring the house on top of me. No. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. That, what? Wait, hey, what? Ah! 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 Shit! What the hell is- Wait. What just happened? I'm not okay. sure where I am right now. Uh, the security uplink on my watch still seems to work, so I can see you and- Hello? You, you, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Yeah, okay. Ah! It seems as if I can still good, tap good. into the intercom system. Well, yes, hello. Hello. I certainly can do better than this. What testing, did you do? Testing, testing, testing. Testing. There. Ha. Huh. Much better. Now, 
What in the world are you doing here? Uh, I came to visit you! To here today? Yes! Well, judging from the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My okay. Is killing me. It seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. That Do can't be good for your health. and yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. That's convenient. Fine. Where's my luggage, though? I want my luggage. L luggage? Did you... Where did my luggage go? Did it disappear into the ether? Do I have a light? I do not have a light. I am upset by this. Oh man! I lost my luggage! Uncle dude! Yeah. Uh, no, you're not my luggage. You're... You're a spear. From that guy. Okay. Last I remember, uh, I was in the new technology section. Why did you lock the door behind me? That's not that. ominous at all. I do think the failsafe was tripped accidentally. Uh. Unfortunately, the front door will remain in lockdown until you can restore the power. Well, thank you for that. Okay, frame rates. Stay good, please. Okay. Okay. That's not at all disconcerting. Not at all. Okay. If you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. On the left. Left. Uh, this way. Yes, this way. I have a slight problem with lefts and rights. <laughs> okay. Um. Throw that switch there. Should be the one. Wh which one? There's two switches here. Not. Oh, you, are you talking about this button? No, he's talking about the switch. Throw the switch. Oh, okay, so it is well, one switch a, as in two. As I'd hoped. You'll have to have reactivate light. the generators in each sector in order to lift the current lockdown. Just, you have multiple uh, generators. Take the glove in the box with you. I wish you could see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. That is a huge ask. I'm a kid. How the hell am I going to put this gun on? Is it does it does it shrink to my hand? What you are holding is an early prototype of the interdimensional ship Must device, do. or IDS device for short. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. Um, okay. Give me one second, I'm gonna change some of settings. Well, I'll just have to live. Okay, we're back. So, oh man, the, these frame rates are gonna kill me. This is because, you know, I need better equipment in order to record, but this is the best I can do, so you're just gonna have to live with it. Well, unless you donated. Anyway. Uh, press the button. Find blueprint tubes to open your uncle's research and development lab. Okay, that seems fine. Oh my god, the frame rates. What the fuck? If you can access the generator at the back of each wing, we might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. Good. It seems as if the breaker did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. How ridiculously convenient for me. All right. Let's go in here. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention has required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. I mean, visited. Thankfully, Thanks. that invention of mine should be infused with more than enough genius to help navigate some of the not-so-childproof areas. In other words, you put puzzles into your house just for shits and giggles. That sounds about right. Um... Can't do anything yet, so just flip the switch. Open, says me. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I can get behind I've dimensional been able rifts. To develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Oh, the jetpack! I want the jet. Can I have the jetpack? I want the jet. But I want the jetpack! Look, it's a jetpack! Oh, 
under the jackpot. What's this? Oh, that's the ice machine! Oh, I'm stuck in ice. Oh. Can't have any of the cool things. I've just got this dimensional transporter gun. The uh, glove, glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Okay. Super powerful glove. Why was it over in that other room rather than there underneath the portrait, which is the other ones we're doing? This seems too convenient. Then again, I'm suspicious of everything at this stage. You won't have control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. Just be patient. Way too convenient. This okay. door is using one of my inventions. The repetitive, periodic, articulating Gruy Day. Or a drinking bird. Except that it's far more advanced. Super advanced drinking bird. Okay. That seems extremely contrived. Good job, dude. Great job, Uncle. Open door. Thank you. Well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility. That and the suggests that there's more of a receptacle in order to function. Okay. Next chapter, a shift in perspective. This is such an early experiment with dimensional shifting, so I decided to have it triggered remotely with a drinking bird. Right. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Really? There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is a fluffy dimension. The fluffy to dimension. Embarrassingly adorable. It's also rather useful because everything is ten times lighter than normal. You're putting me in a padded cell? You asshole! I mean, it is adorable. Okay. So now I can. Ah, well, that's convenient. Ten times lighter than normal, you say? Up we go. Yeah, as I thought. Come on. Can I crouch? Can I, cr can I crouch? I can jump. Oh, there we are. Uh, come with me. Thank you. Ow! Please let me take this up Though to Though that looks like here. a regular scale, it is in fact a portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. So it's a button, thank you. Please proceed past the button as prolonged exposure to the button is not part of this test. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. Is it the same bird? Wait, is this the same bird? Is that Something why it's more advanced? Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Uh, let me try that again. Wait, you what? remain constant. So no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Well, there we go. Right. Get you and to there. Very simple. Okay, continue. Lift this. Put here. Get up. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, we're through. You should throw that IDS battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. Okay. Wall mounted receptacle. Wall. Don't throw the damn thing, I need it. Come back here. Okay. Wall mounted. That? Right. That there we go. That will distribute the power source around the room, allowing you to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your leisure. Ah! Now I can control it! Nice! 
Nice! So I also have a portal gun. Mine just takes me to different dimensions rather than the same dimension. I like it! And it's a portal glove. As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from the IDS receptacle and batteries. Okay. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. Really now? Open door. Go through door. Huckin' stuff. I'm going to guess that I'm going to be throwing stuff in this one. Open ah, says me. Ah, that's Dolly. Dynamic object linear ligation interface. To you, a cloning device. I like okay. my house just so. So I decided to add functionality to her to keep everything consistent. Whoa, jeez! Ow! I don't need to tune that later. Dude! At my face! Really? It's a good thing I seem to be immortal. Uh, okay, I can jump through here now. That was rude, and you should feel ashamed of yourself. I need to find one of those plug thingies. There's it is. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, in you go. And now it's to the fluffy dimension, so I can pick up this thing and throw it back in your face! Yeah! Yeah! Screw you! Yeah! You should feel ashamed of yourself. Right. Solve puzzle. Keep moving. Okay. Oh, I can still use the ah, um, thing. That's my favorite chair. Oh, and that one too. Okay, clearly. These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide and neodymium dope atrium aluminum garnet lasers using an alternating ray configuration. They're lasers. An extra kick. Thank you. Why are they in this room? There we go. Put them down. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Nice. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. No. Other guy broke glass on my face. Good. Oh. Wait, how do I get across there now? Uh. Can I make another? Just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. Wait, what? And I understand. So we come back into this room again. Yes, yes. Then we go. Fluffyverse. <laughs> Why on earth does this thing? This is so weird. Well, that was a bit stupid. <sighs> okay, go climb up here. Into this room, turn it to fluffy first, turn this on. Right? Make sure this is in position properly above that. Yes, good. Now turn it off. Breaks the glass, opens door. Thank you. Okay! Easy enough. Turn to fluffy verse, put chair on thing, thing drops down, open door. Oh, that uh, creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity, or Ike. Hello, Ike. Can I do your thing? That looks much more fun. Um. Oh, breaking glass. Hang on. Let me see if I can get this right. 
Oh, come on, really? I th that totally should have worked. Oh, but that was smart and shit. Ah. Um. Wait, do I break that? Maybe I break that. Okay, let's try this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. I just want to keep moving. There we go. Mm, perfect shot. Excellent. Ah, 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 ah. Continuing. I do apologize for the frame rates. It's not much I can do about that. My graphics card's already running at absolute maximum, so... Eh. Stop for a minute. Hopefully it's not too bad on your painting. end. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple Hello? metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The original okay. quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. Impressive. I've, if I knew what that meant. Okay. My great grandfather modified the old forge Upgraded? so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. Very good. This predecessor then to you Dolly gave supplied all the materials needed to build the underground railroad. You've got an underground rail. Okay, that's fine. You've got everything else. Uh. Open says me. Air yeah, raising scheme. Okay, I can move to the fluffy verse again. Um. In case you're button. wondering, you turned on the fan. Hey, wait. Say that you don't need me to explain that to you. <laughs> oh, Ike. That's hilarious. And also extremely creepy. Like, look at him. Does he not look like an evil creature from beyond the this universe? He might actually be an evil creature from this beyond this universe. We don't know. Okay. Boom. Thank you. That's two. Three, please. Thank you. Okay. Too easy. Ah, that's where that got to. What is this? That is a botched experiment of mine called the Awkward Noise Generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Really, dude? Whatever, I'll take it. Doesn't do anything for me. Okay. Oh, another... Oh! But why? Okay, I... Standard issue conveyor belts. So much easier than carrying things yourself. Mm, clearly. I. Uh, oh. You ran away. Okay. I suppose follow the conveyor belt then. Ah, uh, yes, maybe. Yeah. You. You Thank you. And I suppose stand up on this thing. Up. 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 Let's keep going. So, I haven't discussed my location a whole lot, but it no. seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. So, you're in another dimension. I okay, that was kind of obvious. And see what turns up. Just try to die. I mean, try not to die. That, that'd be appreciated. Uh, open sesame. Through the door, into next area. A fluffy... Fluffy journey of discovery. Okay. And now I get to use my strategy. I had the right strategy before, I just was using it too early. Fire! You're not helping my headache right now. Eh, 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 eh. Okay. Press button. Yes. Hey! That was supposed to stack! He didn't do that before! Rude. Okay. So how do we... Hmm. How do we...
this is how we do, I think. Are you? I've... Wait. No, there we go. I got an idea. So that's there. No, no, come back. Got you. Mm, close. I think you see where I'm going with this. Uh, grab the sofa. And place him maybe here? Yes! Look at that! I'm making a stairway. Um, okay. Right, that should be fine. Okay, get up on this. Of course there was a simpler answer! Uh, super complicated, and it didn't even work. Just get up on this thing and just start climb up like that. Whoa, I jumped really high. That's going to be useful later. I'm almost certain of it. Come here. Super easy answer, not making it complicated and making me look bad. Next puzzle. What do we got? What do we have in here? Press the button and find... Press that button and find out. Blah! It's another... Why do you have so many safes? Like, what's the use of all these safes? Um... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, that makes it pop. Okay. Okay, so it's similar to what I was trying to do before, I think. I think it's just jump across. You know, with the space bar, so that you can actually jump the beast. Like that. Yeah. Okay, good. Through here, continue on my quest. Um, and press the button. What happens here? That. It... Oh, what do you know? Safes come out. Uh, what? Oh! Oh! Right, right, too easy. Uh, no, not what I wanted. There? Yep. There? You know that thing I did before? Yeah, I'm just too far ahead of, of the curve, man. I'm just so far ahead of the curb. That I'm solving puzzles that don't even exist yet. Okay. Oh, right. That's. Wait, why didn't I just do that? Before? Oh, right, of course. I just needed to turn it on. So grab this now. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summer. Oh, that... yeah, Air circulation is very important. Yeah, clearly. That's why you've got all these giant fans here. Coming down! I should have just done that. Up! I don't know why this can lift me now, when it couldn't before. Oh! Oh, because this is the Fluffyverse, and I'm not affected by the Fluffyverse, except when I'm on top of that. That's contrived, I don't care. It works! I don't care! Keep going! Uncle, you're really weird. And this fluffy verse is really weird. There's multiple of him. Okay. What's this do then? Makes sense. Careful. 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 Easy. The physicality of that still completely baffles me. <laughs> yeah. Why does it work? Uh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I don't get it. I lost it. 
I have died! Thing number 16 you will never experience. First chest here. Well. Try again. Okay, come on. Blah! Lock into place. Let that drop down to about there. Thanks. Try not to die. There we go. At least it didn't take me back too far. Open next area and continue. Oh, through that puzzle. Okay, I think we'll do just one more puzzle for the moment. Uh, and that should do it for today. But it's been a lot of fun so far. It's actually re really cool. Like, just the... Um, Physics-based puzzles are always so much fun. And I am really tiny. Like, really tiny. Ah, you've tiny. moved on to a part of the manor where another type of dimensional rift is accessible. Perfect. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension. Or Heavy, for short. Heavy dimension. This dimension is in direct Right, so we've got light and heavy. Fluffy dimension. Real original. Make things ten times heavier. Okay. Everything's made of steel in this dimension. Except for me, of course. Is Ike around? I am an immortal child. I should have really hurt myself on that jump. Like, that was a long jump. I really should be, like, hurting right now. I should have broken my legs. Okay. Oh, there's Ike. Hello, Ike. I knew you'd be here. Hello, Ike. Hello. Hello. Oh, shy. Oh, get used to. Yeah, clearly. I like Ike. Now just imagine as long as he isn't an evil interdimensional thing. Be careful. Okay, I need something light to start. Well, everything's heavy right now. Three from there. Okay, so this is something light. How convenient that you're no longer spitting out safes. That's right. That box d deserves to be there. You don't. There. Uh, so. So what does this do? Whoa, okay. These guys spit out safes. Um, hang on. Switch these to the other side that oh hang on oh hang on there's a puzzle here do I need to get just those guys spitting out all at once okay okay that's a confusing mass of shit fuck at that I've got two of that that time. Where do I need to go? I need to get to there. Can I jump up? I can probably use this to jump up on, right? Okay. All right. Um, those two are active, so maybe this one? Oh, I managed to get that in time. No, that didn't work. Oh no, I want I want those ones, right? So that did work. I moved one from there to there. Because I want that across there, and I use one of these boxes to jump up. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So that one's correct. Let's try this one over here. There's only so many choices. No. Wait, what? But I moved that one before. Wait, what? So that one's correct. That one's correct. This one then? Right? Maybe? Maybe I'm gonna have to trace them. Ugh, god. Boring. Oh no, I got it! Yeah! Okay. It goes there. I jump on. Wait. Excuse me. I want it. Hey, I want to jump on top of you! Dude! God, it's, it, this isn't hard! D dude Really? What? What's going on? Okay, so 
so that goes there. What do I do then? How do I get... Always easier. Always easier than I think it is. Boop, boop, yet. Oh, look at that! There we go. Through the door. Some okay! Well, that took a bit longer than I, now, it should have. And also the fluffy and heavy dimensions. This increases the odds that a dimensional rift between the two will exist in the really? same location. Really? Nice to know. Alright, so, thank you for watching me uh, play this game. It's been a, a ton of fun. Uh, if you want to see more of it in the future, just uh, leave a message down below. I'll have a read through that. Uh, if, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to, to the channel, and all that jazz. And I'll uh, catch us all next time. Goodbye.